I'm Tyler Walters. I'm the Dean of University Libraries here at Virginia Tech. We run the libraries. We offer services to faculty, students, and staff around information, data, knowledge, help people learn. Open educational resources, they're instructional materials that are used in courses. They are, as the name suggests, they're open, meaning they are materials that aren't copyrighted or owned by others. They are developed by experts, by faculty members in their, in their fields, but they are, they've chosen to share these openly with other people. And there's just there's certain benefits to doing it that way. Uh, the obvious one is it reduces costs to students. They're not purchasing textbooks as much as they are just receiving them. The other advantage is that people can use this text really as they wish to. If they want to use a chapter out of a textbook, they can. If they want to write something in addition to it, that they can. I think that's kind of the beauty of it is it's, is it's you know, vetted quality material that can be tailored in a course situation as the professor wishes to, as well as the benefits to the students. I am a true believer in open educational resources. I am going to uh, I'm constantly improving the thermodynamics of an educational resource. What our job is to educate our students how to be critical thinkers and open educational resources. Um, the, the instructor is uh, selecting and it's choosing, okay, this is the right information, the, this is the, the true context uh, content for my course. My husband and I both have doctorates and our daughter started college this fall. I was surprised when we rented a textbook for $285. So yes, it's, imagine the surprise of a family who needs that $275 for food that month. You know, it's been our job within, within land-grant institutions to convey knowledge to the people of Virginia. Uh, that is literally why we exist, to educate them in terms of their work and their life and just how to, how to improve life, how to improve society around that. And this is exactly what OERs do. We're, we're transmitting knowledge to people in as accessible way as possible, reducing technology barriers, reducing financial barriers. Previously, when I was using a hard copy, hard uh, cover textbook, it would cost the students new, I think about $120 used. I mean, that would vary, but maybe around $75 to $80. So, you know, this was free. In the past year, if we do the math and we say average of about $90 um, for the textbook, whether they buy new or used, I've, I've saved them over $20,000, um, you know, in textbook costs. So that's huge. Considering I had 80 students in the classroom, and the textbook was $217. Uh, this is around 17000 And I think this is a significant amount of money. That's probably around one week of work for them to purchase one textbook for one class. So my suggestions, recommendations, advice for other faculty who might be considering using an open source textbook um, are really just to consider the level of flexibility and modification that you can have using an open source textbook. Um, again, you need to make sure that you're following the Creative Commons use rights, but as long as you do that, you can really take this material and make it fit for you. I, I didn't publish the entire textbook in one shot. I would publish this module this week or this chapter on week three. So I really parsed it up. So I'm excited. It's the 21st century and I want us to look forward and to do things differently because our students are, are in a different place than our students were even a decade ago. And, and I want us to be able to, to take the millennials' nature into consideration when we are enhancing our pedagogy and, and using our pedagogical tools. You know, we know that costs around higher ed are a big issue. They're a national level issue. You know, how do we keep costs from rising? What is it that we can do? I mean, it's such an enormous problem. I think it, it makes a lot of people's heads spin. But when the topic of open educational resources comes up, you know, this is this is a concrete step that we can take that actually, you know, semester by semester reduces costs for students. It's real. It's not going to address everything that needs to be addressed, but it is one way of doing things that helps to reduce costs. Students spend hundreds if not over a thousand dollars a year on textbooks so this this would really kind of wipe out that cost so it definitely helps.